Museum leadership used to be, if you like, an academic, a great academic, usually an archaeologist, would be considered the perfect ideal museum leader. After all, if you're an archaeologist and you can lead a team through a desert, the thinking was, or through a rock pile or whatever, the, the thinking was you, you, can, you can lead a, a staff to, to, to operate a museum. Today the museum leader might be a scientist, might be an archaeologist, might be an art historian, but I would say that the greatest quality is, um, is actually to be a public intellectual. And I think that the most marvelous examples are in, that I know of anyway, that are in England, where you have uh, the director, the former director of the British Museum doing a hundred objects as a radio show. That show has been listened to by 30 million people. And the book has been sold in 12 different countries. The impact of the enthusiasm of a director as a public intellectual for 100 objects in that collection was absolutely infectious. And imagine he did it on radio. You couldn't see the objects, you could just listen to him describe it. So I think being a public intellectual is very, very important. The next is you have to be able to lead staff. You have to uh, be able to inspire staff to top performance in whatever their areas are. And I'd say that the third is you have to be an integrator. You have to be able to inspire the research scientist to also want to speak to the public. That person could be the shyest person on the face of the earth, but a great director can bring out the showman, if you like, or showgirl, if you like, or showwoman, if you like, into, in, into that person. So I think that those are the three main qualities. A lot of people would say, well, you didn't mention fundraising. What I would say is, in my 34 years of experience, anybody who has those three qualities can also raise money. It's not about, I'm first and foremost a fundraiser, it's I'm first and foremost an inspirer of the world. You inspire the world, people are gonna to come to you giving you money.